So the last thing we did was talk about symmetric matrices. Um, so last time, we finished with symmetric matrices. Um, and the two things that you need to remember about symmetric matrices are first, there are only six, well, in a symmetric three by three matrix. There are only six independent values. Um, and the second thing is all the eigenvalues of a symmetric matrix are real. Um, okay, so the next thing we have to talk about is matrix multiplication. Um, so you can think of matrix multiplication as a sequence of dot products. Um, And in fact, using matrix notation, you can write a dot product. So um, let's think of the dot product 2, 1, negative 2, dotted with negative 5, 0, 6. And the way you calculate that is 2 times negative 5 plus 1 times 0 plus negative two times six. And so you get a scalar value of negative 22. Um, well, matrix multiplication is always the dot product of a row and a column. Um, or uh, it's a sequence of dot products between a row and a left. and a column on the right. And in fact, using matrix notation, you can write this dot product that we just did as a horizontal row matrix, one, uh, two, one, negative two, times a column matrix, negative five, zero, six, okay? You're just multiplying those two vectors together and it comes out um, to be negative 22. Um, okay, so to multiply two matrices, um, So for multiplying two matrices, I don't know, 
know why this button is getting in the way so much recently. Um, the I jth element is the dot product of the ith row of the left matrix and the jth column of the right matrix. OK, so let me just make up two matrices, and we'll go through this calculation. So let's say we're multiplying a matrix 1, 2, 3, and I just keep counting up 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're multiplying it by 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Are those symmetric matrices? No, symmetric means that if you forget about the main diagonal, uh, the, the ones across from each other or the ones where you're switching the, the element order are the same. So this 2 would have to equal that 4, and that 3 would have to equal that, and the 6 and the 8. So it's not symmetric, and neither is the other one. Okay, so... Um, The, so let's say that this is going to be a matrix A, okay? So to calculate the element A11, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, dotted with 10, 13, 16, And if I did that calculation right, that gives 84, I think. Okay, so it's 1 times 10 plus 2 times 16 plus uh, 2 times 13 plus 3 times 16. <coughs> and then uh, A12 is the first row, 1, 2, 3 dotted with the second column. What's the second column? Yep, that's right. 11, 14, 17. And I think that comes out to be uh, 90. And then I'll skip a bunch, but um, a uh, three two. Uh, what's the row of the left matrix that we're multiplying? Yep, seven, eight, nine. And what's the column of the right matrix? Eleven, fourteen, seventeen. Yep. And uh, 3, 2, I think you get 342. And so when you put this all together, um, this matrix A comes out to be 84, 90, 96, 201, 216,
mine says 31. I must have erased something there. Uh, so that would be the dot product of uh, the second row and the, yeah, second row and the third column. Um, so that would be four times 12 plus five times 15 plus six times 18. So that's 48 plus 75 plus 108. 231. 231. And then the last one is 318. 366. Um, so to do that by hand is a super pain. It's good to understand how it works, but um, practically speaking, you're never going to have to multiply those out. Um, in a TI calculator, all you have to do is use the multiplication button and it'll do it for you. So if you have one fill out one matrix, however your calculator lets you fill it out, times button, the other matrix, and it'll do all this calculation for you. Um, and there are three important things to notice about matrix multiplication. The first one is not all two matrices can be multiplied. Um, just like you can't take a dot product between two vectors that have different dimensions. Well, this is all dot products. So if you have, if your row lengths in the, on the left matrix aren't the same as the column length of your right matrix, there's nothing you can do for this calculation. So, um, <coughs> For matrix multiplication to be allowed, um, the length of rows, which another way to say the length of rows is the number of columns, that can get a little confusing, but um, the length of the rows on the left must match the length of columns on the right and the length of columns is the same thing as saying the number of rows on the right. Um, and so if the left matrix size is M by R, and the right matrix size is R by N. Okay, 
So that's saying that the number of columns on the left is equal to the number of rows on the right. Then when you multiply those two together, you get a matrix with a size M by N. Um, so if you're multiplying, this is what we're going to do normally, two kinds of multiplications. If you multiply two three by three matrices, what's the size of the output? It's also three by three um, because the R is three and then the M is three and the N is three. And, and so it comes out three by three. What about if you multiply um, a six by six by a six by one? That comes out to be six by one, yep. Okay, so that's the first thing, the dimension thing you have to keep in mind. The second thing is that the order of operations matters. Um, so if you multiply a matrix A times B, that's not the same thing as B times A. And in fact, uh, just because you can multiply A times B doesn't even mean that B times A exists. Okay. And then the third thing is grouping does not matter. So if you're doing more than one multiplication in a row, like if you're multiplying the matrix A times B times C, um, you could first multiply A times B and then multiply the result times C. And that gives you the same thing as A times the product of B times C. Okay. 